Hey, welcome back to Beard Geek Beer Reviews. And as you can see, I actually am at the endish of this beer. The only reason I'm coming back to you so late is because of the fact that the uh, Honest Craft Beer group that I am a part of on Facebook, go in, Honest Craft Beer Reviews, you'll find us. I'm one of the admins there, and so happens we had a stout review. Now, I, in particular, went with a local craft beer. I happened to go with Hoppin' Frogs Barrel Aged Doris Double Imperial Stout. This stout weighs in at a 10.5% alcohol by volume with 70 IBUs. Now, let's see here. I want to see if they have anything aged in whiskey barrels. But it doesn't say um, what whiskey it, um, the barrels come from. I do not know. Hmm. I may have to dig deeper into this um, to find out. Mm, please pour carefully, not to disturb. Um, yeah, well, it's all out of there by now anyway. It says uh, there could have been yeast sediments at the bottom of the bottle. Uh, don't really matter anyway because I probably drank them up. With that said, I want to tell you a little bit about this beer. This beer is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And by that I mean <sighs> over the course of these 22 ounce bomber you will feel the 10.5 percent 10 and a half -er. um, but don't be discouraged because of the fact that it is barrel aged in whiskey barrels most is bourbon barrels i mean i've had a couple in you know tequila barrels and you know irish whiskey Irish rum, I've had some rum barrel um, uh, stouts before, but this, it, it's, it's simply harmonious to the point where it's almost a perfect beer. And by, I mean almost, is because of the fact that the whiskey is not overly done. Um, in the aromas, you get more chocolate than anything. You get chocolate, you get coffee, and you get a hint, just that slight fine line hint of whiskey. It's not over abundance, it's not overpowering. It, it's subtle. Let's put it that way. You won't get ahead with this beer because of the fact that you might, you might, I mean fine line might get just a hint of head but it will dissipate almost immediately at ten and a half percent plus with the whiskey in there it's going to go away very quickly i ended up having this in a duvel glass or a dual glass um it did pour off some carbonation for a very long time carbonation has pretty much said past again as part of stout you're not going to see through this is it it's it's just an opaque beer um but uh in in hindsight uh you can if you pull back on this you know very slowly you can see alcohol legs um stirring it up you might see you know little bits of sediment left uh, whatever i don't mind the little junk in the trunk when it comes to some of these beers because it just makes them that much more enjoyable that much more flavorful and you know sometimes it may or may not be a good thing but i think it is a good thing um but uh going on with this overview is that um even in the flavor it's got a big thick mouth feel to it you're going to get that chocolate right off the bat. You're going to get a little bit of coffee, kind of like almost a borderline, you know, roasted mocha kind of thing. Um, but uh, 
you do get the bur or the whiskey, excuse me. You do get the whiskey in this, and it is not a bad thing. It is not overly done. It is it, it's it stands apart because it's bold. It stands apart because it, it's not a entry level and and by entry level I mean brewed in with it, it's part of the aging process so therefore it does set itself apart but I, I, I gotta find out how long that they left this beer inside of those whiskey barrels to find out how they got to this point because of the fact that it, it, it's, it's like okay you got the chocolate you got the coffee there's no bitterness to this beer whatsoever I mean even though that it said what 70 70 IBUs yeah 70 IBUs you don't really get a bitterness they're there just to kind of tame um, the beer itself or in most doubts they're roasted and, and big bulb flavors they're they're more like the earthy tones to the beer excuse me um, but you do get a right in the back note as the beer you know kind of subsides you definitely do get just a hint of like a, a hop note um, a, along with um, a vanilla note and and that's what I like because even when right after you get that um, that bourbon or excuse me I, I kind of correlate whiskey with bourbon excuse me um, with, with that whiskey uh, it's almost like you do get a, a vanilla smoothness to the whiskey as well. Um, overall, I mean, if I had to say anything, you know, at all about this beer is <sighs> beyond the price that I had to pay for it. You won't probably be able to see this, but I paid. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Sixteen ninety nine for this bottle. I don't. I don't necessarily pick up bottles that are just barrel aged to say I've had them. I've had Boris and Doris before. And I, I actually got a chance. I have the counterpart to this as well. And you guys will see that review soon. Um, I, I did pick both of them up. Both of them the same price. You know, $16.99. <sighs> when you see this beer on the store shelves... It normally costs you about eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine a bottle anyway for the for the regular edition, the Boris and the Doors. Um, they both usually cost somewhere around um, fluctuation prices of like seven ninety nine to nine ninety nine. Um, so I just thought five extra dollars for a barrel aged version. I, I can't beat it. You know, most people say that that these prices are just price gouging outrageous and they won't buy them you know if I see like those two examples um, I, I seen both versions the regular version and the barrel aged version side by side they want ten to almost ten dollars a bottle for the regular version and it's sixteen ninety nine so seventeen dollars for a, a barrel aged version I'm going to take the barrel aged version because I know I'm going to get more flavor out of this beer than I am going to out of, of the original version. So with that said, man, if you guys had this beer, I think that this is a, a, a solid A beer. I won't go A+, plus, but I do say it's a solid A beer. If you've had it, let me know what you think. I've already ran way too long with this review. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like the video. And let me know what you guys think about the said beer. Now, as always, don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and my outro, you know it. Hey, don't drink and drive because the smart thing is not to. And if you do, you're going to get caught. And if you get caught, you're going to be paying more out of your pocket than what you just did for this beer. Peace. Have a good night. Pros. Later.